Hi, this is Jeff with Command Performance in Falls Church, Virginia. Today we'll be doing something a little different. We're going to be uh, showing some amplifiers from an emerging company in Poland, actually Bialystok, Poland, called Fez Audio. Uh, I had an opportunity to hear their products several times at the Warsaw Show, at a brief introduction in the U.S., and now they're back in North America being distributed by Bluebird Music, and they've come out with a new evolution line of products. Uh, when Fez started, they had several integrated products, uh, kind of a classic look to them. They've sort of reinvented their entire style. They've worked with the design team, and now they have a full suite of uh, solid state and tube amplifiers and electronics. And we're gonna be trying a couple of these out at the store, a couple of integrateds, a uh, parallel single-ended 300B amp and a KT88 amp. So what we're gonna show today is each of those amplifiers, we're gonna box them, see what's in them. We haven't seen them. Um, and uh, I hopefully you'll be as excited as we are. It's the, they're really super high price to performance ratio products. Uh, and it's a way of buying into high-end audio tube electronics uh, with uh, a European build quality. So let's take a look at the first uh, amplifier we have here. The first amplifier we're gonna look at is the Libra 300B uh, amplifier. It's a parallel single-ended amplifier. So uh, let's see what's in the box. Coming with a double box with the foam top here. Manual and gloves. A remote control, let's see uh, what this looks like. Pretty minimalist, uh, it does have their logo on it. Good feel to it. Not super heavy brick and not cheap plastic. A power cord and battery for the remote. And let's see what Okay, we see the uh, top of the amplifier here, but it looks like the easiest way to get this out is we're gonna take this top level of foam off. And the last piece that's in this top is the tube cover, which from what I've seen in the pictures online is very nice looking. Push that through. metal grill and looks like a plexiglass top that's been protected for shipping. Let's take the top off here. Packaging schmutz. That is the official name. Another layer. And I should be using the gloves probably. And we get a little magnetic charge from the packaging, so that wants to stay there. So that is the uh, the dust cover for the unit, going this way. Underneath the packaging are the preamp tubes, two 6SN7s, electroharmonic, and we got one Sovtec 12AX7. So those are our preamplifier tubes. Coming down to the next level, we see the amplifier itself and the four 300B tubes. And let's see which ones we get with this amplifier. It is shipping with, and I never know how to pronounce this, it's the PS Vane or Vane uh, 300B tubes. As I mentioned, it's a parallel single-ended amplifier, so you can have two power tubes per channel. So as opposed to a straight single-ended amplifier, where a 300B you may get seven or eight watts, what we're gonna get out of this is 15 watts. So it gives us a lot more power, so we have a wider variety of speakers we can drive with it. 
So, take off this next level. Okay. So, we have our cloth packaging over the main amplifier, Fez, fezaudio.com. So I'm gonna clear off my table a little bit and we will take this out and take a look. All right, let's uh, uncover the Libra. This is our first time seeing this too. We decided to order ours in the sunlight finish or what we probably call champagne. Very unique color scheme. Um, the main thing that really distinguishes Fez before we go through some of the other features and put the tubes in are the toroidal transformers. So the company is actually run by the sons of the owner of toroidy transformers in Bialystok. They make uh, high quality toroid transformers for a number of the brands um, that won't say that they use them, but uh, they're used widely in the audio industry and outside of the audio industry and they use their top of the line toroid transformers in all their amplifiers. So I'm going to put the tubes in and then we can uh, discuss some of the features. So the Libra is, a, as I mentioned, parallel single-ended uh, tube amp. It comes with four 300B tubes, two 6SN7s, and one 12AX7. And you notice on the packaging, each one of these has a number and it does match up with the top of the chassis, each tube socket is indeed labeled. So you know exactly where to put the tubes. And for those of you who haven't done 300 Bs before, an important thing to note on the bottom is there are two fat and two thin pins. You will definitely want to match those up with the sockets where it's too fat and too thin. I have seen people shove them in really hard and take out their amplifier. So. Just a word to the wise there. Um, so we're gonna put the tubes in, then we'll talk about some of the features. Okay, now you see the Libra with all the tubes installed. Uh, in the US, um, what is included and is a tube cage. That basically comes here. It's got felt on the bottom, so you're not gonna scratch it. And around the side are a couple little screws, finger screws. We slide this back, tighten down the screws. And there you go. If you want to use the optional tube cage, protect your animals, your kids. There you go. And it actually looks kind of cool on this one. So let's talk a little bit about features. Um, on the front, you see two dials. Uh, on the left-hand side is your volume. On the right hand side, uh, your amplifier comes with three inputs. You can change manually here. It's got a nice clicking feel to it, which I, I really like. And then we can scoot around to the back and talk about inputs and outputs. The standard model comes with three inputs, as you can see on the left hand side, uh, three gold plated RCAs, input one, two, and three. In terms of outputs for speakers, it has both 4-ohm and 8-ohm uh, speaker terminals. Standard IEC power cord, US market, and the on-off switch. There are other options that can be special ordered. Um, going back to the left-hand side, there is a sub slash pre-out. Um, you can add a Bluetooth receiver, transceiver to this, and that would have an on-off switch as well as a home theater or a pre-input that would allow this to be just a power amp. Um, some of the notable features that you can't see is this does have a soft start, so it preserves the life of your tube, so it takes about 10 seconds to start up and come on. Um, they're recommending on this one about 80 to 100 hours of break-in. We will see if that uh, ends up being right. The unit is auto-biased, so you don't have to work on uh, changing the, the bias manually with your multimeter and a screwdriver. So it's a pretty easy to use unit and uh, we'll be looking forward to hearing what it sounds like over the next 100 hours. To me, it's, a, it's absolutely a very beautiful looking unit, very different, highlights that those special transformers in the back and just has this beautiful look to it. And this is the new evolution version of their amplifiers. 
announcements. Today we'll be unboxing the Fez Audio Titania Integrated Amplifier. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. It comes double boxed, top layer of foam, manual in gloves. Set those aside. We have our vacuum tubes, and we'll talk more about this a little later. They are all, all numbered. This particular amplifier comes with four electroharmonics KT88 tubes. And for the preamp section, two 12AX7s. For the US, uh, as a standard uh, option, uh, a remote control is included with this. I can open it up. Very minimalist remote control with the Fez logo on it. We get a few extra fuses. Hopefully we won't need them for a long, long time and a battery for the remote. We can also see the top of the tube cage here and we'll get to that by taking off this layer of foam. Protection here, standard power cord. Salt, a couple of screws for putting the dust, putting the tube cover on. You can see down the bottom, if you want to use it, you can put screws on. We'll show you how that attaches later. And then our amplifier itself. So we're going to take this and put it on the table and we'll uh, unveil it. So we have our amplifier out where you're going to take it out of the protective wrapping and take a look at this. Okay, here we have the Titania amplifier from Fez Audio. And um, we'll put out the tube so you can see how that goes and then describe some of the features. Here we have the tubes laid out in front of the amplifier and you'll notice that each of the sockets has a tube number on it and that corresponds to the particular tube box below. So pretty straightforward, you know exactly which tube to put in which socket. We'll do that now and then move on to talk about some of the features. So now we have our Titania with our tubes in, our four KT88s and our two 12AX7s. Uh, in terms of features, uh, the unit supports three inputs, all RCA. Um, turning the knob, you hear a nice click, so good feedback in terms of what input you're on. The volume control has a good feel to it. And then there is a remote control as well that comes with this. Uh, the white uh, remote control comes with the standard series. The black one comes with the new Evo version of the products. And of course, it's a Fez product, so it has that large toroid transformer. So let's go around back and look at the inputs and outputs. Starting at the top, a nice feature is the tube. The fuses for them are easily accessible. Again, marked very well which one is V1, V3, four and five. Uh, going left to right on the bottom are three inputs, RCAs only. In terms of speaker taps, uh, you have your uh, four and eight ohm taps and a standard IEC input and an on off rocker switch. Pretty straightforward uh, in terms of capabilities, but it's a really a great sounding amp from our experience. So that's a quick tour of our Fez Titania integrated amplifier. We'll be plugging that in and playing a little bit more at the store. And thank you so much for watching another one of our videos. If you like what you see here, give us the thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. We plan to bring you a lot more good stuff coming up soon.